Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. What you just seen is me tearing out my old workbench. It came apart pretty easily. Luckily, I screwed a lot of it down, and all I had to do is really remove the screws to take it apart. So that is all gone. I cleaned it up, I painted the walls, and I built this base deck. What this base deck is, is a, it's gonna serve two purposes. It's gonna give me a level plane to set my cabinets on, as well as um, a toe, toe kick. So this is gonna serve the toe kick as well. So when I put the uh, uh, cabinet boxes on top of this, they're gonna overhang about three inches and that's gonna serve my toe kick. So the reason I did that is because my garage floor slopes about two inches going that way. And I needed a level surface instead of using shims or you know other mechanical devices to level everything out. So before I go any further with this project, I wanna give a big thank you to Tiger Ply. They have sponsored this video uh, by donating the plywood for this build. Uh, without their help, I couldn't have done this build. The reason I keep going back to Tiger Ply is because the plywood is great. Uh, very little voids in the plywood itself. And the people that I deal with at Tiger Ply are just top notch. They've uh, helped me out in two of my other, two big projects in the past. One being my miter station wall and one being a uh, yard size Connect 4 games. I'll put a link in the description below for those videos as well. Uh, so go check out Tiger Ply on their website. I'll put a link for that down below. And I know I'm going to get this question, where do I get the plywood? Where do I buy the plywood? You can special order this plywood from Menards and have it shipped to Menards and pick it up there. So if you have a, Men a local Menards in your town, I highly encourage to give Tiger Ply a shot. So on with this build. The goal here is to build a bunch of boxes, essentially, and put them on this platform. And I could screw them right down to this platform and screw them into the studs of the wall to uh, further secure them. So I got a level line right here. It is uh, 32 inches off the platform. That'll give me about 37 inches off the floor that way and about 39 inches off the floor that way. So let's get started.
right, I think I'm going to end the first video here. Uh, just to recap real quick, uh, four cabinets are installed, mounted, level, and everything. Uh, really, I can put a top on this and start using it as a uh, workbench as far as the top goes. Um, I still got to add drawers in those two cabinets down there, and I got to transfer the drawers out of uh, the cabinet that's behind the camera into this one. Uh, this one's ready to go. Uh, this one's done. I can put my uh, table saw sleds back in here and that's what I'm going to do before I leave tonight just to get those off the floor. So that's where I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out the links in the description below uh, for Tiger Ply and for the other videos that I use the Tiger Ply plywood. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.